CM365 all about Carnatic music Carnatic music has always absorbed the good elements from various corners and as far as ragas are concerned we see that it has taken ragas or the scales from folk music some ragas from hindustani music and absorbed them so beautifully into the system today i'll be talking to you something about sindhu bhairavi which is basically a hindustani ragam but has come to become very popular in the carnatic system as well the name sindhu bhairavi how it has come uh, we say that uh, the sindhu river belongs to north india and uh, bhairavi is the actual name of this ragam in the hindustani counterpart so thus the ragam came to be known as sindhu bhairavi in the carnatic mode this is a bhashanga ragam but it is supposed to be a janya of the eighth melagartha thodi so the basic scale is like sa ri ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga ri sa so do this is what the scale is about the raga sindhu bhairavi is much more than this in the sense that it takes many bhashanga notes like the chatushruti rishabha chatushruti dhaivata and the pratimadhima and apart from this also we see that in specific phrases it takes the antaragandara and it also takes the kakali nishada thus if you add up everything and see you see that all the 12 swarasthanas are a part of this uh, particular ragam and this is something very very unique and i would say it's also very rare phenomenon in carnatic music because all the swara 12 swarasthanas coming within a ragam probably this is the only ragam i could probably think of to uh, give as an example as well and this is a prayoga pradhana raga and so the murchana alone cannot really establish the ragam and uh, in a hindustani music concert we see that when somebody sings this sindhu bhairavi which is their bhairavi it means that the concert is coming to an end and the artist will not actually sing anything after this particular piece which they render in this bhairavi ragam according to this bhairavi our sindhu bhairavi and uh, in terms of the gamakas also we see that the hindustani mode of execution like the glides and other ornamentations are only incorporated and we don't use the typical carnatic gamakas when we sing sindhu bhairavi it is a very very appealing ragam and has got great aesthetic bliss and also offers a vast scope in terms of expansion of course the trinity did not compose in sindhu bhairavi but we have a composition of sri swati tirnala bhajan in this ragam which goes like vishveshwar darshan kar चल मन तो मकासी हे विश्वेश्वर दर्शन कर और एक पॉपुलर कंपोजिशन ऑफ पुरंदर दास सर वेंकटा चल नीलयम वैकुंठ पुरवासम पंकज नेत्रम परम पवित्रम शंक चक्रधर चिन्मय रूपम और द लास्ट स्टैंड ऑफ द वेरी पॉपुलर कंपोजिशन कुरेन्द्र मिल रही वेरी यू सी कली नाल के रंगे कली ले रंगे nilayaga koyilil nirkindrai keshava i am also reminded of a uh, tirupugal which has been tuned beautifully in the sindhu bhairavi karana madaga vand puvi med kalarnano ga dishind gahti kaane naranan mun munbe teriyade nyananatame purinde varuvaye like this there are many more such compositions tuned in sindhu bhairavi 
and another classic example is the Tillana of Sri Lalgudi Jairaman, which has opened up new vistas in terms of exploring the ragam. Finally, I would like to say that unlike the scalar ragams which work on permutation combination of notes, Sindhu Bhairavi is a very unique ragam where we see that it works on it different kinds of phrases and great musicians have added flavor to this uh, particular ragam through the distinct phrases they have conceptualized in it. So that way it's an ever-growing ragam offering immense possibilities. CM 365 all about Carnatic music.